good morning good morning welcome men welcome back to the channel once again welcome back to the channel once again come on in catch a word be blessed on this morning yes come on in i'm gonna go ahead and use copyright claim 107 for educational purposes only fair use fair use learning teaching hearing motivating and uplifting because this was what my channel was built on saving souls changing minds fixing hearts that's because we are here to help somebody to find jesus christ this is our mission yes come on in folks and the title of this message is protect your salvation by all means at any cost yes protect your salvation don't let the enemy steal your salvation. Don't let the enemy deceive you out of your salvation. Don't let your friends discourage you. Don't let nobody turn your head around. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Yes, keep your eyes on him. Because he's the one that's going to be there for you when no one's there. That's right, he's the one. It's gonna always be by your side. When your family turn their backs on you, God will be there. When your friends turn their back on you, God will be there. When your neighbors turn their backs on you, God will be there. Because God said, I would never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Right now, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and run this clip. Of the temple was torn in two. And when Jesus had cried out with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Let's carefully examine what the Bible is saying here in verse 45. The sun was darkened. Other translations say, the sun stopped shining. The sun was obscured. The light from the sun was gone. Just imagine that scene at Calvary. There is Jesus, the Son of God, hanging on a cross. People stood watching. Some of the religious rulers looking on and sneering. People are mocking him, shouting, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is God's Messiah, the Chosen One. Soldiers are watching on and mocking him. And then, as he is about to die, darkness comes over the whole land. So you don't have to protect your religion. Because see, religion is nothing but a word. That's right. Religion is nothing but a word, folks. Yes, religion is nothing but a word. Protect your salvation. That's right, your salvation. Because the enemy's out to steal your salvation. The enemy's out to turn you away from your salvation. The enemy is out to have you turn your head away from God. The enemy is out to pull you away from God. Your friends are out to get you away from God. Everybody's out to get you away from God. This is why I'm telling you to protect your salvation at all costs. That's right, at all costs. Hold on to your salvation for dear life. And don't let nobody take it away from you. Let's get back to the clip. We'll talk about blessing and prosperity, but does not call you to love your neighbor or to sacrifice. The sugar-coated gospel tries to convince you that everything will go well after becoming a Christian. The real gospel teaches us that life often gets harder after following Jesus. 
but despite the many afflictions of the righteous, the Lord delivers out of them all. One of the reasons people often preach the sugar-coated gospel is because they're worried that the real gospel will offend other people. If they tell people they need to repent, that will turn them away from Jesus. Well, this does an excellent job of keeping those people in. And see, this is why there's no reason to be sugarcoating the real gospel of Jesus Christ. Whether it offends somebody or not. We got to hold on to God's doctrine. That's right. It's only one true doctrine. And that's the doctrine of Jesus Christ. The good news and the gospel of Jesus Christ. See, when somebody come to you with this other foolishness, this other mess, don't accept it. That's right. Don't accept it. Because as we know, all types of things are popping up in this generation, in these last days that we're living in. Everything under the sun is popping up. People are talking about new religion, new this, new that, making new Bibles. Folks, hold on to the gospel of Jesus Christ and the good news of my Lord and Savior, folks. Because Today is so much trickery going on. Yes, it's so much trickery going on. People are being fooled. People are being deceived. People are being bamboozled. Because they think it's some kind of new religion that's come on the scene. But no, there's no new religion. See, God's word never, ever changes, folks. That's right. His word will never, ever change. His word will stay the same. Yes, like I said, when everything is said and everything is done, the only thing that's going to stand is the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's right, it's the only thing that's going to stand. Let's get back to the clip. And as I said, folks, hold on to your salvation. Guard your salvation. tickling their ears it does not change the heart of the hearer the true gospel can pierce any hardened heart by not calling people to repentance but just mercy and grace you're robbing the gospel of its power it's better to offend people now by preaching the full gospel instead of later as they realize they never heard the full see this is why God said my sheep know my voice and they will follow because real true people of God they know the voice of God that's right they know what the true gospel of Jesus Christ is see a real true believer you're not going to be able to fool them with this new stuff that they're popping out here with them no you're not going to fool them because they know what the true real gospel of Jesus Christ is because the Bible said, if anybody come to you with any other doctrine, don't believe it. But I see so many people that's been fooled, that's been tricked, that's been deceived in this world with some of this new age foolishness. That's what I call it, new age foolishness. Now they want to put the Ten Commandments back into schools. Why did they take prayer out of schools? Yeah. Why did they take prayer out of schools? Now they want to put the Ten Commandments back in schools. I think they're a little bit too late to be waiting until everything got corrupted and disrupted. Now they want to put the Ten Commandments in the schools. Let's get back to the clip. Yeah, so they wait until everything has gotten torn apart. Everything has been destroyed. Everything is out of order. Everything is out of whack. Now they want to put the Ten Commandments back in schools. 
full message and may be on their way from God to hell. The words of Jesus in Luke 9 may speak most clearly on this. Luke 9, 23 to 25 says, And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses it... This is what we have to do, folks. We have to pick up our cross daily and deny ourselves and follow Jesus Christ. That's right. As he said, whoever loses his life shall find his life. Yes, whoever loses his life shall find his life. Yes. So start picking up your cross, people. And start following Jesus Christ. Stop following this world, folks. Stop following the people of this world. Follow after Jesus Christ. Walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. Let's get back to the clip. Because people will mess you up in this world, folks. Like I said, sometimes Satan will assign people to your life to pull you away from Jesus Christ. That's right, to pull you away. Yes, to disencourage you, to walk away from Christ. Yes, it's all type of people who are designed to put in your life to pull you away. Yes, to pull you away from Christ. That's why you gotta be alert. You gotta stay woke. That's right. You gotta stay sober and vigilant in this day and hour, people. You can't be half sleep. You can't be walking around in a fog. You can't be walking around in a haze. You gotta keep your eyes on Jesus Christ in these last days. You gotta guard your salvation in these last days. You got to guard your heart in these last days, folks. Because the fire has been turned up a little higher. So what does that tell us? Now we need to turn up a little higher. Yes, we need to start running a little faster. We, not, we need to start praying a little more. We need to start fasting a little more. We need to start reading God's word a little more. Let's get back to the clip. his life for my sake will save it for what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself if we want to follow jesus we must deny who we are and follow him that means and right what does it profit a man to gain this whole wide world and mess around and lose his natural soul he's profit nothing why waste your whole life playing around in this world and end up going to a burning hell? Because see, as I always say, the life that I'm living here on this earth is going to decide where I'm going to spend eternity, folks. That's right. The life that we're going to live down here is going to determine the life that we're going to live up there or down there. It's going to determine, folks. Let's get back to the clip. And we can't be playing around in these last days, people. This is not a time to be half-stepping. This is not a time to be dragging along. This is not a time to be slowful. This is not a time to be slack. No, this is the time that we need to stand up. Yes, stand up and stand tall on God's word. Let the enemy know. Yes, let him know. Because see, the enemy, he'll try all kinds of things to get you on his side. 
Yeah, he'll try anything. Anything under the sun, he will try it. But if you're rooted and grounded in God's holy word, hey, and if you've built your salvation on the rock, can't nothing knock it down, folks. Can't nothing tear it down. I don't care what wind comes or what wind blows. If you've built your salvation on the rock, because Jesus Christ is the rock. If you built it on anything other than sinking sand, folks, it's not going to work. Let's get back to it. His will comes before our own. It means that we repent of our sin and follow the way of life that Jesus states. Even if we gain the whole world, we will die, and none of that comes with us. Hmm. It will all be for nothing. All that matters is what we have done for the kingdom. We, as followers of Jesus, must reject the sugar-coated gospel that many try to present. Yeah, because I look at many of these millionaires, billionaires, they got it all. They got all this money, all these millions, all these billions, all these trillions. But think about it. When you die, what do you have? You can't take none of it with you. That's right. See, all this materialistic stuff and this material stuff in the world is not worth it, folks. This is just stuff, material stuff that we're trying to gather up here on this earth. That's not gonna mean us any good in the end. What we should be worrying about is getting our souls straight with God before we delete, I mean, before we leave this world, before we transition out of this world, make sure that your soul is right with God. That's right. Make sure that your soul is right with God. Make sure that you're operating out of a pure heart. Because see, the Bible says, without a pure heart, you will not see Jesus Christ. This is what he said, folks. This is not my words. I'm just spreading the gospel and the good news of my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. That's right. And I know a lot of people don't like it. But this is my assignment, folks. That's right. I'm on assignment for Jesus Christ. And I got to fulfill my assignment. Like I say, God has a purpose. And God has a plan for every one of us. We're not here by accident, people. We didn't just stumble across this. We didn't just fall out of the sky. God put us here for a reason. Let's get back to the clip. and hold tight to the only true gospel that can save us from sin. Do not let them scam you. So Did you know that the way you look can impact how much you leave your church? That's the Bible says in James 1 verse 22, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. The Bible here is saying, prove yourselves to be people who put the word of God in practice. That's right. Prove that you obey God's principles. That's right. Don't be just hearers of the words, but be doers. That's right. Be doers of the word. Make sure that you're operating in God's holy word. And not just hearing it. Letting it go in this ear and come out this ear. Yeah. So when you get that word of God in you, you got to get it in you. So it'll stick to your ribs. Yes, stick to your ribs, folks. Remember when, you, when your grandmother used to say, boy, here, eat this oatmeal so it can stick to your ribs. Same way with the word of God. Once you get that word in you, can't nobody take it away from you. 
That's right. Nobody can take it away from you. And see, when you get the word of God down on the inside of you, God will bring that word back to your remembrance. That's right. He'll bring it back to your remembrance. But now is the time to get that word in you, folks. Because like I said, it's so many things going on in this world. They're removing the Bibles from different countries. This is already going on. 